All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. To our one and only time of putting this on, guys. Hear that? You have one chance to get this right. No pressure, though. No pressure. It's all good. Everybody here is friends. Well, it's good to have the Christmas cantata back, though. It feels fantastic after a few years of not having it. Um, it feels more like Christmas again, and the snow helped, although shoveling did not. <laughs> Before we get started, though, um, just a reminder where the restrooms are. If you need to use restrooms, we have some down the stairs. Just follow the light. Um, the light for the restroom is on the outside. The light switch on the inside is not going to help you. Um, if you close the door, you're going to be in a pitch black dark. So make sure you hit the light switch on the outside first. The other two are upstairs here, and we are going to have time for food and fellowship afterwards. We invite you all to come and join out there as well, and that's where the other two restrooms are. Also, um, if you can check now, if you have a cell phone, just to turn it off, um, it has gone without fail that somebody has forgotten just had a funeral service yesterday and one was left on. Done weddings and they've been left on. So don't assume that it's off. Just double check. It won't, it won't hurt. You won't look foolish checking now, but you might look foolish later when it rings. Okay. All right. Um, so let's, let's open up with a word of prayer and then let's get this thing started. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you have given to us. We thank you that you have blessed us with another day of life, that we could bring honor and worship to you, Lord. Father God, too, we, just, we praise you for what you did so long ago for us. Lord, you kept your promise, and that is what we're celebrating here right now. The promise that was kept after Adam and Eve committed those sins, Lord. You said you would send a Savior. And you did, Father God. So we praise you for that. And all this right now is for you, Lord. It's not a performance for anybody, but a praise to you. Because you are the only one worthy of our praise. And we thank you and praise you in your holy and precious name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're going to get started with an opening carol of O Little Town of Bethlehem.
Isn't it nice to be here this afternoon? Oh, we can see some of our former singers have been here, and friends and family. This is just great. Thank you for making the effort on this rather less than probably a great driving day, but you've done it anyway, so that's just beautiful. Oh, this is a this is a wonderful time to say thank you to the people who, you know, put this together. This is by far a many, many people effort. Uh, our narrators, our singers, our sound people, uh, Sue who does our refreshments and lines that all up, and our people who bring the refreshments. We have good cooks here as well as good singers, so plan to join us, please. This is a this is a lovely cantata. I often don't I don't confess if we've done it before. But you know, COVID took an awful toll on the publishing houses. And Andrew and I tried beyond tried, but publishing houses were way behind in uh, even getting the music out. So we are doing one from 2011, which was a great favorite of ours even years ago. We've done one song from it several times, Angels Are Making Their Rounds. You will, this is the one it came from. And it's just, it's delightful. We've had a good time preparing it. We've got lots of new singers. Are you noticing new faces here today, which is great? And we also have uh, many people who are out with colds today. We've had 43 all fall getting ready. And we had such nice weather, cruised right along, assuming we'd have everybody here today. Well, this week brought colds to, I don't know, six or seven of our people. So we are missing some. We have some new singers with us this year, which is great. And let me see where we'll start. Right here with Bev. Beverly Blackwell comes to us from Corinth. She was in Florida for years doing singing, so why not join us here? And Anna Doolin was in here from Troy, and of all things, her car wasn't able to get out of the driveway today, so she was not able to make it. She lives way down in Troy. Can you imagine? We have people who, did you notice, come from 15 towns to sing with us? But there are so few singing groups today that if you want to sing, you have to look around, and here we are. I think this is our 22nd year of doing Christmas cantatas and, and the same for Easter. So I'm thinking, gracious, how much longer are we going to do? This should wear itself out, but we've got a bigger crowd than ever this year, so I guess it hasn't happened yet. Lynn Roach has come back to us from St. Albans, which is wonderful. Denise Baker has joined us this year from Detroit. Wonderful. Um, Nina Speed comes to us from Carmel, and this was great having her join us, too. She's got a lovely soprano. Uh, the Richards have come to us from, well, I say Belfast, but I guess it's Belmont. Is that right? <laughs> Emily and Zeb and Abe, and that's been just a treat. Kit Rogers has also uh, been with us from Garland, but she along with others, got colds, and so forth. So uh, one, you know, we're doing the best we can. And I think you'll, you'll be pleased. And I have to tell you that Shirley Patterson is here today. She sang with us for years. <laughs> we're so glad she's well enough to be here today. That's just lovely. Well, you know the title of this is <clears throat> Night of the Father's Love. How ironic, truly, that God would allow the Savior of the world to be born in the stillness of the night, in a very humble circumstance, and to kind of set that stage, Ruth, our wonderful cello player, is going to open with a beautiful song called Still still, still. Enjoy every note. We love doing this. We're glad to be here, and we're glad you're here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I didn't say at the beginning, and I meant to, that we are going to have a, a treat this afternoon from our three girls who've been with us for a couple of years and our three who have come from uh, Belmont, an a cappella trio, so uh, a double trio, I think we would say. Rosalie is not feeling well, so actually it's a trio and a duet. <laughs> I think that's how it worked out. Enjoy every note. We love doing this, so you just relax and we will too. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be ex exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And, and the, the glory, glory of the, of the Lord, Lord shall be, shall be revealed. revealed. Lift up your heads, O gates, and make the highway straight. Prepare to celebrate the coming of the Lord. Your waiting soon will end. God's glory will descend. Rise up and welcome in the coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. Prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. The ancient words foretell. God with us he will dwell. You would hold your applause until the end, that would be lovely. We gather here to prepare the way of the coming of the Lord. We come to remember when God visited the earth in the form of a child. And we meet to worship the Lord and to celebrate the new life he offers us. We pray, we pray that we will experience God's presence in a fresh way. This is the true meaning of Christ's birth. Angels said that he will be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. God is always with us. But when we welcome his spirit into our hearts and minds, we experience the comfort and the power of God's presence. Before Christ came into the world, God's people awaited his arrival for centuries. So now we wait that God will move among us as we listen to the story of the Christmas miracle. The psalmist said, 
The Lord is good to those who hope is in Him. And the one who seeks Him, it is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord.
gracious King. The world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. Still through the cloven skies they come with peaceful wings unfurled, and still their heavenly music floats o'er all the weary world. Above its sad and lonely plains, they bend on hovering wing, and ever o'er its babble sounds the blessed angels sing. For glad and golden hours Come swiftly on the wing Oh, rest beside the weary road And hear the angels sing For lo, the days are hastening on by prophet bards foretold, when crazy ever circling years comes round the age of gold, when peace shall over all the earth its ancient splendors fling, and the song which now the angels sing, which now the angels And the angel said to Mary, Then an angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Fear not. Fear not, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Fear not, Joseph, to take Mary as your wife. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Zechariah, your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name John. And behold, Mary, you will conceive in your womb, and you shall bring forth a son. And she shall bring forth a son. And you shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And you shall call his name Jesus.
The angel said, fear not, the Lord is with you. This is the essence of the Christmas story, that God became flesh and lived among us. It is a great story of love, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. Fear not, for the Lord is with you. Listen as Luke records Christ's birth, when the Lord of heaven and earth became flesh and lived among us. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Father's love begun. 
Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you've delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God. The blind will see, the deaf will hear, and the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb? This sleeping child you're holding is a great Fear not, the Lord is with you. As the child was born, the angels continued to bring their message of comfort to the earth. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the <coughs> Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord <coughs> shone round about them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy.
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. They had seen a star in the east and had come to worship him. Like the Magi, we seek the Lord and remember the words of the psalmist. O God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land. is dry. We find our path by starlight. We are seeking Someone 
When the Magi saw the child, they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. We can join the Magi in their giving as we draw near to the Lord and open the treasures of our own hearts. Instead of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, we bring our gifts of love, adoration, and praise as we bow to worship the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace.
When we are in the presence of the Lord, we feel his holy peace and all is well. Because of Christ's birth, all is well between God and us. For through this great gift from heaven, we are reconciled with God and can experience holy peace in our souls and new life in Christ. And as this new life in Christ grows in believers, we are commissioned by Christ to go and share this good news. Let's go sing it on the mountain. <laughs> is born. Go sing it on the mountain and sing it everywhere. And go sing it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. For you shall go with a joyful song. The mountains and the hills will sing along. The trees of the field will clap their hands for joy. To celebrate this new life, we come to sing Noel. Some scholars believe that the word Noel began as a shortened form of the phrase, now all is well. In old New England, perhaps people use this on their Christmas greeting, Christ is born, to which would come the response, Noel. Let's do this together. Christ is born. Noel. <laughs>
You may be seated. Many of us don't get to go to Carnegie Hall, <clears throat> but we do get to experience a wonderful choral concert that is equal to anything I've ever heard. You ladies and men and gentlemen and young men, wonderful job, wonderful job. And you couldn't see yourself, but I'm sitting up there and I'm seeing you. And when they're singing, go tell down the mountain, all of you were tapping your feet, smiles as big as me. Back here, little child, and I'm thinking, boom, 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 <laughs> tapping to the beat of the music. You, you all enjoyed it. And you young singers, when you were up here, the five of you singing, you couldn't see the singers behind you. But those who are a little older than you, they were rooting for you because they were smiling, they were tapping, they were mouthing the words with you, saying, go, go. A wonderful evening. But this is really all about our celebration of the birth of Jesus. And Isaiah reminds us that unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And he is the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, prince of peace. He is God in the flesh. And this Christmas we get to celebrate his birth. And we look forward to his coming again. But this season, we celebrate his birth. And if you know him, wonderful. If you don't, ask one of the choir members, ask Andrew, ask myself. You can know God. You can have a relationship with Jesus. So this Christmas is a wonderful time. We hope you join us in the back um, for some refreshments if you can. Um, on your way out, please be careful. The sidewalks and the roads are slippery. Let's close in a word of prayer. Father God, we give you thanks for this wonderful evening and celebration of music. We thank you for Shirley, for all the choir members, for all the hard work they've done over the last number of months. It's good to be together again and to celebrate your birth in song. Thank you for this evening. Be with us, watch over us, help us to keep Jesus at the center of all that we do this Christmas season. For we pray in his name. Amen. Have a good, safe evening.